Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the first of a multi-part series outlining this recent detailing project I had with six different cars. But the first video is just going to be this 1963 Corvette Stingray convertible with an automatic transmission. And it turned out absolutely beautiful. The remainder of the series will include the 1967 Corvette you can see in the background, two 1969 Corvettes, a 1973 Corvette, and a 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. Stick around to the end of the video to hear more about my channel and the kind of videos I plan on uploading in the future. Again, thanks for checking it out and I hope you enjoy the detail. The first car is going to be this 1963 Corvette Stingray convertible. It's a, it's a pretty nice car. It does have some original paint on it. Going to be some thin spots to be aware of doing the paint correction. But inside, this thing is actually very nice. Not a whole lot of work to do in here. Um, it's pretty clean, like I said. So let's take a look under the hood. Oh yeah, okay. So definitely a little bit of work to do here. You'll see it has some water spots under the hood. Um, general dustiness, but really this thing's pretty clean. The most important things I'm gonna have to do, um, I'm gonna see if there's something I can do about painting these, these hood vent things, I don't know what they call them, but, um, and then the paint itself really needs a good polish. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but there's a lot of swirls, a lot of small scratches. So plenty of paint correction to do and uh, plenty of work. So the owner hadn't realized, but I'm working up in his storage area and they turn the water off here in the winter. So I'm in the bathroom of the storage unit and I'm gonna have to rinse via bucket and keep filling it in the sink for each of these cars. So that'll be fun.
You can see when I get the light correct all the swirls in the paint there's a lot of markings and imperfections so that's what we're gonna tackle right now So I finished about half the trunk lid uh, with just an initial pass. I'm gonna do some more work, but just to show you the difference, this is the side I haven't worked on, and this is where I have worked. See how much better that looks. Over here you can see all the artifacts. And over here you can't. So if you're ever detailing one of these old Corvettes, You'll find a lot of these. These things are made of fiberglass, and so they flex. Um, and over time, the paint starts to crack. Something else you might run into, I was told that some of the paint on this car is original. Um, I wasn't told where it was, but if I had to guess, I would guess it was the hood. You can see here, you can kind of see some primer through the paint here. That's really, really thin paint. And despite the fact that it's all swirled up on top, I am going to probably not even, not even really touch that until I get to the final step, which is just a really fine polish to try to put some shine on it. Um, because I don't want to burn through that paint any more than it already is. You can see it, it already doesn't look very good. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to make it look any worse. So when you're polishing, when you're paint correcting, watch out for thin paint, watch out for cracks. You don't want to be going over this with your pad and have it catch in the crack and, and peel up a chunk of paint. That would suck. So just be aware of, uh, of what you're doing. Okay, so I've finished the cutting process. Um, I've done as much as I'm going to do. It's not completely flawless like I prefer it to be, but the paint is pretty thin in a few places. I don't want to go through. Um, the paint's also really hard, and uh, I'm having a hard time getting into some of the deeper stuff without potentially damaging the paint. So um, it looks really good. Uh, you can see the car here. It'll be hard to really show it, but um, it has a nice gloss to it and there's still quite a bit of polish left to do. So I'm going to get started with a softer pad and a finer polish, and uh, I will show you the results when I'm done.
All right, paint correction is done. Paint has a coating on it. It is looking really nice. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, really brought out some gloss and did away with about, oh, 95% of the artifacts and scratches in the paint. Um, it would take a trained eye to look at this paint job and, and find the flaws that detailers inherently notice. So, um, really happy with it. I'm going to just do the interior real quick, um, tidy up the wheels and tires. I probably won't cut that into the video. And then I'm going to get started on the next car. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on these hood vents. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the old paint. I'm gonna polish them up a little bit, and then I'm gonna get them painted up. So to remove the old paint, I'm just gonna use some lacquer thinner and some fine steel wool. That should take the paint right off. I'm gonna polish them up just with a little bit of this cheap, never dull wadding polish that I picked up. And then to tape them, I'm gonna use this eighth inch pinstriping tape. I'm gonna tape all the raised lines and then maybe do a little bit of scuffing to give it something to adhere to and then uh, paint it all satin black. And when I'm done, it should look brand new. So let's get started. I have finished the hood vents. This one came out better than the other. The other has some fish eyes in the paint, but you know, they look really good. Um, even this one that's not perfect, you can see some of the texture in the paint. And so, you know, it just, it's, it's better than it was, without a doubt. I'm not a professional painter. The owner knows that when he hired me to do this job. He just wanted me to do what I could with them and he actually came and looked at them today and he is more than happy. He, they're better than he expected. So I'm really happy with how they came out. It really, really just takes the front of the car to the next level. I'm really happy with it. So anyway, on to the next thing. Okay, so this one's all done. The interior turned out really nice. Um, like I said before, it wasn't that dirty, but I did vacuum and I put some 303 on all the surfaces. Uh, clean the windows. Um, found a few things in the glove compartment. Left those out on the seat for the owner to decide what to do with. Engine bay turned out very nice. Really happy with it. Um, all in all, the car looks great. But you're probably wondering what the heck is connected over there. Um, I made a mistake yesterday when I moved this car. I left it in accessory mode, which is really easy to do on these. And the key pulls out either way. So... Um, the battery died overnight, so I'm going to leave it on the charger. I was going to move this car up to this spot to work on it, but this is going to be charging for a while. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this car, just where it's sitting right now. Hey, and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I thought about putting this at the beginning, but I decided I never like watching videos where people just sit there and talk forever right before they get into the material. Everyone wanted to see the detail. They wanted to see the pretty car. And so I decided to make the intro really short and then, you know, throw this on the end. So basically, uh, this channel is an opportunity for me to share some of the things that I do. I used to detail full time um, and I decided to go back to school and study accounting. I now have a job related to accounting, but I still do detailing jobs on the side along with various other projects. I've been kicking around the idea of starting a YouTube channel for quite a while now. And so now that I'm done with school, I thought, great, I'll start filming some of my detailing jobs. Um, I've got a few projects on my own cars I've been wanting to do. I'll be adding those to the channel as well. So basically, um, some of my hobbies include detailing, obviously. It's something I do on the side. I don't really need to. It's not something I have to spend my time on, but I enjoy it, and it's a good way to make a little bit of extra money. So detailing, I like working on my own cars. Um, I try to do all my own maintenance on my cars, everything that I can do, and I'm not a mechanic. I've worked in the car industry most of my life, but it was almost always on the cosmetic side, detailing, uh, minor painting, things like that. I worked at a, at a dealership, basically, and cars would get traded in. It was my job to make them ready to put on the lot and sell. So... Um, I'm not a mechanic, but I like working on my cars. Uh, I do, you know, minor to moderate repairs and um, modifications to my cars. I own three different cars, and you'll see them on this channel, all three of them most likely. I have a 2003 Mini Cooper, not a Mini Cooper S, just a base Mini Cooper. This is the car I'm hoping to have the most material on in the future. I have big plans for it, but uh, I'm not at a place in my life right now that I can really jump into my big plans, but trust me, when it does come around, it'll be worth checking out. It's going to be cool. Um, second car is a 2007 Toyota 4Runner. It's a V8. It's a great car. Um, we really love it. And um, I've done, you know, I've done some minor stuff to it. I put a leveling kit on it. It is due for a wheel bearing. I might do a video on that. And then my third car is a 2007 GMC Sierra Duramax. So this is a uh, one of the more popular years for the Duramax. It's an LBZ engine code. Those of you who are familiar with it, um, it's a cool truck. I don't do a lot of diesel stuff. I'm not a huge diesel tuner kind of guy, but um, it's a great truck. It's done well for me. I use it to tow. Um, I tow my boat with it. I tow heavy trailers with it. I've helped. I don't know how many people move with it. Um, so you probably won't see as much of that one on the channel, but you might see some of it. So um, that's something to look forward to. I also like to garden. Um, I grow mostly peppers, and I definitely plan to do some gardening videos. So the whole point of this channel is it's called Nick Does Everything because I really I have my hand in a lot of different hobbies, and I'm always willing to try new things. And so um, it's going to be just a lot of a lot of different things together on one channel. It's not going to be just a car channel. It might be mostly cars, but it's not going to be just a car channel. Um, there'll be some other cool stuff too. So gardening, my peppers, um, I plan to do not as much tutorial videos, but I will talk about stuff and I more want to just inspire people to try new things. You know, if you've never grown a garden, after you watch some of my videos, you might think, wow, that guy's only 26 years old. He likes to garden. You know, I'm not too young or it's not weird for me to grow a garden because I think gardening is a great hobby. So hopefully some people out there will watch some of these videos and, and get something from them. You know, whether you decide to grow a garden or you just think it's cool or whether you decide to start working on your own cars or you want to try detailing your own car. What I want to do is just show people I'm just a normal guy and I do all this different stuff. I, I'm willing to try whatever. It's, it's good for people to try new things. It's good for people to get out of their comfort zone. And when you start doing like maintenance on your own cars and detailing on your own cars, there's a few reasons that I think it's good for people to do this. First of all, you're going to save money. You're not going to be paying some mechanic 100 bucks an hour, 200 bucks an hour to work on your car because a lot of the stuff you can do yourself, even stuff that might seem scary, I can do it. You can do it. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Save yourself a thousand bucks by doing something like that. Um, second of all, when you do those jobs yourself and you hop in your car and you fire it up and it starts and it runs and it drives, it just is something to be proud of. It makes you feel good. Um, and 
I think that that's a good experience that not a lot of people get to get to experience because they're afraid. They're afraid to try working on their car. They're afraid of breaking something or they just don't have the courage to tear into it. And um, third of all, with, with detailing and with having a clean car, I think that when your car is clean and when your house is clean, um, it brings you up. It, it helps you feel better. I think that a lot of people get in this cycle of, um, you know, they don't feel good about themselves. They might be depressed. They might just have the winter blues. But um, whatever it is, it, it sounds really stupid to be this into your car. But when you go park at the grocery store and you lock your car and you're walking away and you turn around and you look at it and, you know, it's, it's got that shine and it looks beautiful, um, that's a good feeling. And I think that more people should experience that. It's something to be proud of. So anyway, I'm rambling. But basically, I'm going to just put whatever on this channel. It's not going to be super prolific. I'm going to try to post um, semi-frequently. There will probably be more in the summer, especially because it will be gardening season and nicer weather to be working on cars. Um, and then, like I said, big Mini Cooper project coming in the future. So watch out for that. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. So anyway, thanks for checking out my channel if you're still watching. Um, hopefully you will tune into some of the future videos. Keep an eye out for the coming videos for the detailing. The 67 Corvette is next. And I think the next video is going to have um, several cars in one. I'll probably do two more videos. I haven't decided yet. I haven't gone through all my footage. But basically, um, I got sick one day during this job and I missed a whole day and so I couldn't do as much filming as I wanted to. So most of it is just time lapse. I did try to walk around each car and show how they looked after I was done with them, but um, weather wasn't always on my side, time wasn't on my side, and so I just did what I could. So the coming videos aren't going to be as in-depth as this one with the, with the 63 Vet, but they're all really cool cars. They all turned out really good um, and you can kind of see the process and and what someone like me who, you know, has professional experience in detailing actually does to a car to get it to that really um, show car level of, of clean and polished and waxed and whatever the process might be. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and I uh, hope to see you in the future.